Hey guys, I've got this lovely FS55RC in, but notice how, doesn't matter how much I pump that bulb, it's not filling up. However, looking in the tank, you can see that uh, air's going in. I'll start with hooking out the fuel line, and we're going to pressure test that. Let's pop the fuel filter off. And we're going to pump it up and we're going to see if it holds pressure. And it does. So that means that we haven't got a leak in the fuel line. Our needle's seated and the fuel pump side of the carburetor is tight too. The leak must be coming from the metering side. If you've got dirty lines like this, just give them a spray off. You don't want that going inside the fuel lines and then inside the carburetor. Now that that's nice and clean, we can pop the fuel line off. That's the return. And lastly, we just need to unlatch it from the back. So if I go full throttle, catch it with my finger, gently. encourage it out and let's dig into it let's just start with the metering side and see if anything comes up okay that's fine Urge. you can just put this, in, put this in your hand that's good And nothing's untoward here. That looks absolutely perfect to me. So why are you just sucking air? We have a high speed jet and then a low speed. If this is not sealing, it could be why we're pumping air, but it has to be pretty bad. Let me test that. It has to be pretty bad for that not to seal to that extent where it's taking no fuel up. Generally, if say the main nozzle check valve is not sealing, it will still take a certain amount of fuel, but this is bone dry. This is not taking it. Let's just, before we go too far, let's take the fuel pump side off. There might be something really obvious here that we've missed. You see, we're getting fuel here on the fuel pump side. Check that these valves are actually working. And they are. And they're seated correctly too, so there's nothing wrong with that. Let's put this back on. There's nothing wrong with that. Let's start with the easy method first, just with my breath. I'm going to put a tube over that drilling there. And I'm going to place my thumb over the main jet there. And I'm just going to see, actually I might pop that main jet out because it'll be easier to seal. And then I'm just going to see if um, it will hold a vacuum. Thumb over like that. See if we've got a leak here. It should click when I suck and blow. It's not, it's leaking. So I think what's happening here is the main nozzle, which is this piece inside here, but just a close up for anyone that doesn't know what it is, that's the main nozzle. And inside that houses a check valve. That check valve must seal at idle to ensure that it doesn't suck up air and affect fuel supply at idle or just off idle. If that's leaking, which it currently is, then what it's going to do is draw air into this chamber and not fuel, and it will go straight up out through the purge bulb. And I think that's exactly what's happening. So what we need to do is we need to clean that out. and We need to try and get some fuel going through it. I also believe that this model has an accelerator pump. I could be wrong. We can check that quite simply. But uh, I'm just going to now try again after cleaning it out. Yeah, you know, I believe this might have an accelerator pump. And if that accelerator pump is leaking, that could be the cause of our issues here. To take the accelerator pump out or to check it, we need to remove this little clip here, there, the little C clip. 
and then this whole shaft will come out but of course we have to remove that butterfly too i think that could be leaking We need to take this clip out, so we're going to push the shaft up. Circuit will come off like that. The shaft is the linkage is bound in here. The spring is latched on there. So just remember that for when you put it back together. Like that. Comes off. There it is, yeah. So we have our accelerator pump, we have the seal, and we have this spring. My guess is that little O ring, let me show you, certainly doesn't look bad. Doesn't look bad at all. However, that's what I think the issue is. I think that that's not sealing. And it's letting air in. There should be a little gauze behind here. Yeah, there it is. What I'm going to try and do now is put some tube down that hole. Now it's working. Now if I blow, I've got the tube in the fuel pump hole. I'm sealing up the two drillings that go to the main jet. And now if I suck and blow, I can blow, but I can't suck. So the check valve is working. So what this tells me is this fuel pump o-ring is not sealing it's that simple and in fact just looking at it that it falls in and out like that so easily it shouldn't be doing that it should be much much tighter it should be sat in there firmly so i think that's our issue i just want to take two minutes i've rushed through this at a million miles an hour and not really explained exactly what's happening. So I'm gonna take 60 seconds now for anyone that's just a little bit confused. So what happens when you depress that, well, what should happen when you push your thumb on that purge bulb, it pushes, it's got a little check valve, a one-way valve, and it pushes fuel back into the tank. And as you lift your thumb off it, it creates a vacuum in that bulb. And you can see if I put that on my hand, it's really trying to suck my skin up like that. That vacuum draws vacuum in the metering chamber and thus it will, a, a diaphragm that sits over here, this diaphragm here, will get sucked down and it will push this lever down. This lever is on a pivot and it lifts up what we call the needle. When we've lifted that needle, the vacuum can then act on the fuel pump side of the carburetor there's a vacuum under here and that goes all the way back and it wants to pull a vacuum through this fuel barb and from the fuel tank and that's how you basically suck up fuel all the way around and it goes out it's not pushing any fuel into the venturi of the carburetor that's important to know it's a purge bulb it's purging air it's not a primer which tends to shoot fuel either straight into the throat of the carburetor or it will pressurize the float bulb and then that will push fuel up through into the venturi. In this case, it is a purge bulb. It's purging the air. Now, what's actually happening is as I'm depressing that purge and then letting my thumb come up, it's trying to pull a vacuum in here so that this diaphragm can come down. It can push that lever down. But what's actually happening is there's no vacuum occurring because we have an air leak here. So air is being drawn in through here and it's then being drawn up through the little drilling. There's a drilling that goes here, and then you'll see there's a little detent bearing, a little ball bearing that's been hammered in place. And that was there because there was a drilling made by machine, and that drilling comes all the way down here to this main, what we call a Welsh plug, covering up the main nozzle. So instead of this main nozzle sealing, and instead of this low speed jet and little one-way valve sealing it's just sucking in air and that's why we're not getting any fuel in here i hope that makes sense so this rubber o-ring here is not doing its job there is no vacuum being created here 
and it's just going straight, air is getting drawn straight in and no fuel. So I've just come back from the shop and uh, I can't get the O-ring. It's a bit annoying, I have to buy it as a kit and it's like 15 bucks to do the repair. In my opinion, it's just not really worth it. So what I'm gonna do is show you how to seal off the accelerator pump so that you don't have to worry about replacing it. What we need to do is to pop this plunger back in with a small portion of this spring, not the whole thing, just a small portion, and uh, then I'm gonna seal it with a bit of nail varnish and that will do everything I need it to do. So why do I need to put this spring back in if it's not pumping and not actuating? Let me just do a really quick drawing of what's actually going on sideways in this hole. So what we've got going on here is, let's start at the top. We have a main jet and then the drilling. The main jet is here and the drilling's there. We then have a Welsh plug here, which covers the high speed nozzle, which is here. And then what you can't see is from this Welsh plug down to about here, right on the corner of the carburetor, there is this channel. This channel is drilled and then plugged up with a bearing. And the bearing is currently sitting there, little ball, you can see the little ball there. And then what they've done is they've drilled in another channel here, which is this hole here. And inside that channel is the pump plunger, the spring, and a little screen. And then you have your butterfly that comes in here. And as you rotate that butterfly, this piston moves back and forth on this spring. And what it does is it pumps fuel. This is, this is all fuel in here. It puts a shot of fuel back in there like that. And that goes into the throat of the carburetor. And then as you take your finger off the throttle, this plunger comes back and it sucks up another drink of fuel here again. Well, one thing that's not so obvious is there's another drilling here, right here, and you can't see it. It's not that hole there, it's actually a bit further forward. It's, it's about here on the carburetor, right here. And what I need to do is to maintain a certain amount of clearance between this piston and that hole, because as you push your thumb on that purge bulb, it sucks up fuel through this little hole from this pump piston chamber here. So if I was to just put a, a seal right here, like a gasket or a ring, and I try and actuate the pump, it's just gonna suck air because it's gonna be sucking air in through here again. It's gonna suck air, it's gonna repeat that same process as what we've already had an issue with. So what I need to do is I need to cut this spring down to take up just a little bit of clearance so that this pump plunger doesn't go all the way down and I have to cut it to the size so that, that when I pull the throttle, it's gonna start pushing on that plunger and crack the little nail varnish seal that we're gonna make. So we haven't got much room for error, so we're gonna do it in small increments, and this is how it's done. Cut a little bit, plunker in. Plunger goes in. We've barely lowered it at all. You see it's still covering that hole. Need to go in a bit more. Very easy to overdo this, so be careful. Pump plunger back in. You can see we're starting to move down that bore now. We're not there yet. And you just keep going, going and going. Right, have a look now. You see how that plunger is nearly flush. I need to go down just slightly more. So now you can see we're just below the point at which the shaft sits. I can get some nail varnish in there to seal it, and that's gonna be perfect. I'm gonna take this O-ring off, make sure there's no fuel underneath it, because otherwise the nail varnish won't, won't work. Now this is nitrile, so it will be resistant to a certain degree to acetone. So that's there, that's there, that's there. Put a little bit of acetone in there, let it soak for a minute or two. And then while that's just soaking, I'm going to use a cotton bud and we're gonna clean out that drilling. There we go, there. This is the drilling we need to clean out. And 
and drop it in that hole. Can you see what we've done so far? Hand lens. You can see we've got that little first splodge. I'm going to keep going. So I can put the cotton bud in here. Just keep that clear, this is important. Otherwise it might bind up and then we can just clean off this top portion too. So just while we wait for this to dry, I'll explain exactly what's just happened. So we've put the spring in place. It's covering up that little hole, or it's allowing fuel to get to that little hole, which is where our purge uh, fuel comes from. Got our spring there and then we have our piston here and it goes down to that spring. Our o-ring is here, that's failed, and we are just below, with the piston, the part at which the throttle shaft comes through the carb here, and I've just filled up this area just lightly, which is below the piston, uh, sorry, below the throttle shaft, just with a little bit of nail varnish. That's now making this chamber from here to, well, all the way through to the carb, really, the whole carb is now back to being airtight. So anytime I pull on that purge, fuel is going to come in here and in here. It's going to travel to here. It's then instead of going into the carburetor, it's going to come up this channel, this channel, through this little drilling, and then out on the top where my purge will sit, which is up here. And that will then pump that back to our tank. Done. So it's been about an hour since I put that nail varnish in. Where's it gone? There. I went off and had some food. Don't know how clear it's going to be, but we'll see if I can, you can kind of see there. A little pool of red nail varnish. And that's just sealed that off. So now we need to start putting things back together. We need our spring. And the spring goes on like that. And then we need to pop this through the hole and tension it. It might actually be easier to take this idle screw off. Get it out of the way. Doesn't matter about its position, we'll, we'll cover that in a bit. These can be a bit tricky to get back in and tension that spring correctly. But uh, we'll do it. So go like that. Pinch that up there. Get that like a bit more <laughs> there. That'll grab on there. And there we have our spring tensioned and ready to go. So that goes up. I'm going to put my clip, a little sir clip. Lovely. Now that can't go anywhere. And then we need to put the butterfly back in. Now you'll see witness marks. If you don't remember how it went, you'll be able to make it out with the witness marks. So we, it's either, can you see how it's got that kind of, those two lines running across? So it's either that way or that way. Now, what we need to understand is that that little notch is there for the idle drilling, which is up there. So that means that it has to go that way. Okay. And then I'm going to put my screw with a little bit of Loctite using blue Loctite. It's important that you put Loctite on here. They are um, peened on the other side. So of course, we've taken that out, so it's no longer going to be peened. I'm going to go on to there. We'll do it up with a screwdriver. Now these aren't actually perfectly round and thus they tend to self-center. Give them a couple of flicks and you can see we're already aligned as we should be with that hole. There we go. I'll put this back together. Just make sure so it's clean. So we need to put the card back on, get our fuel lines. So that is fuel in, hopefully I can still reach it, and that is return. Let's just double check, and the fuel should come out of that little black barb, let it pump up. There it is. Put that back on 
there. That thing goes onto there and there. A little bit of a squeeze. Now we need to get our throttle cable on. Excuse fingers. See if I can do it. It would be easier with some forceps, but they're not out here. That's all right. We got it. Perfect. Air filter goes back in. Should go that way. Is that right? Yeah, that looks good. And now let's go start it up. Give it a couple of pumps. Full throttle, full choke. Choke off. There's a bit of a bog there. Let me just. Yeah, it's lean. That's better. Hey. We got it. <laughs> there we go job done i hope you enjoyed the video and uh there's something else i want to add on there no i can't remember <laughs>